I'm Denise. And I'm Tanea. We're the twins from Perry Hill Farms. Uh, we wanted to follow up with you on our uh, peach jelly, uh, the juice that we got from our little secret video that we showed you previously of, of uh, obtaining uh, juice for jelly from your pits and your peels of your peaches. Um, we ended up with six cups of uh, prepared juice. Prepared juice. So we're going to have two recipes. And so what we decided today is we were going to do a peach um, pepper jelly. So tonight we're going to show you how we do that uh, with that prepared juice. And what we're going to do here, we have our three cups of our prepared juice of peaches. We're going to pour, pour in our pan. Three cups of sugar. I'm going to add our three cups of sugar. Uh, we'll add two tablespoons of lemon juice. That's uh, natural pectin, in case you didn't know. Uh, lemon juice helps um, your uh, your jellies naturally firm up. And we're going to place this on the stove. We've got a pot in the way. So we've got it on the stove. We're stirring the sugar and the juice and the lemon juice together, trying to get the sugar to dissolve. Once we get it dissolved completely, um, we're going to add our jalapeno peppers and try to get this mixture up to a, a good rolling bowl. Now you wanna use a good sturdy pot with a thick bottom when you're doing this and you're, you're stirring most of the time to keep it from sticking or, or burning or anything like that. So as soon as it's dissolved, the sugar is dissolved, we'll add our, our jalapeno pepper. So we've got the juice boiling now. We're gonna add the, the jalapeno peppers in it and stir it. And we want this to boil probably because the peppers are in it about three minutes. Uh, so I usually like to set a timer so I can stay on track. It gives it that green in there. Ooh, I don't know how how it's going to turn out, but we hope it turns out really good. Mm -hmm. We've got our pectin in, and we're going to do a timer for one minute. Whoops. My finger's on the right buttons. And let it uh, hard boil for one minute uh, with the pectin in it. And then we'll get ready to use our fill our jars up. So we are ready now to jar our jelly, our pepper jelly. I'm gonna use this little strainer here to strain off some of the foam. And by the way, uh, let me introduce you to my niece, Erica. Uh, this is Danette's daughter. She's gonna be our partner in crime tonight in filling up our jars. So let's dump some of these, this foam off the top. So it's kind of hard to grab it. So our jars are in the oven um, where we've washed them. Uh, we've placed them in there uh, about 170 degrees to get them good and hot and sterile. And uh, we pull them out as we're ready. Um, I'm still getting the foam. A little bit of foam. It's kind of running from me a little bit. Mama, you bring me a drink. <laughs> Just a minute, Levi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the grandson in the background. Mm -hmm. So. jar this up. A pretty amber color. You know this will be our first time having peach uh, pepper jelly. Uh, we've always used habanero. One thing we don't have is our cold plate in the freezer. A little plate that needs to go in the freezer. Mm -hmm. You do have it in the plate? I'll She's, take care of it. She's good. We got another jar. Team, didn't I? Yeah, I didn't have a jar ready. Again, it's very important to wipe the rims of your jars so that uh, you have no residue of jelly or anything.
You know, we've done this so much, we kind of have, kind of already know where to go on the filling up the jars. So. on the plate. <laughs> well, we saw the cream cheese we have. Whatever you want to do. You want a new one? We don't want a new one. Oh, the test on the plate. Yeah. Well, we'll Bless her. Sister. We'll edit that out. <laughs> it's okay. You can take that one and clean it there. So, um, we learned a, a little trick to tell if your if your um, jelly will gel is to stick a plate in the freezer. Again, let it sit there a few minutes. Um, and uh, uh, what you do is after it sits there a few minutes, we're gonna run our finger through it. If it wrinkles up, pretty certain it's gonna gel in. So that's, that's way a different color that we're used to. It is, isn't it? We're used to the habanero jelly, but it's, I bet you it's gonna taste good. Yep. Mm -hmm. So it's on the plate, We're waiting for it to cool a little more before we do our test. So now we've jarred up, these are hot, by the way. We've <laughs> jarred up our little uh, peach jelly, pepper jelly. Um, it's kind of a unique unique uh, color to it. And uh, we're gonna see, do our little test on our plate to see if it's gonna gel for us. It really is pretty on this white plate which looks like it's going to gel really good. Yep. Yay! Now, now is it going to taste good? Oh. <laughs> oh, we have a little mm. sneaker in here. Mm. Excellent. Oh, it is good. Excellent flavor. It gives you that peach sweetness and that uh, taste. little little jalapeno taste there that's not too hot. Um, much different than the uh, habanero that we normally use in our peach jelly, uh, habanero jellies. Uh, very good. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put these in the uh, canner and uh, cold bath them for 10 minutes and then set them out on the towel and leave them alone for about 12 hours for them to set. And right. then uh, when they set, we'll break out the cream cheese and the crackers and enjoy a jar of exactly. peach pepper jelly. If you like this video, please hit the uh, like button down below. And uh, if you like following our videos, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on your notifications so that you can be notified um, each time we make a new video. Thank you for joining us tonight. Yeah. Thanks Erica for helping. Thank you. Good night. Good night.